What's up, best friends? My name is Brian Deach, and today I want to talk to you about something very serious and critical you need to know. Packs of stray wild dogs are controlling most of the cities in North America. I'm just kidding. I think it was Ricky Bobby that said that back in the day. If you don't know the reference, I think it's like Taliban and Ice. But with that said, what I really want to talk to you about is covering your SaaS-based applications for third-party users or third-party devices that are in the environment. And so let's kind of frame up exactly what that looks like. So we're going to have a user coming over here. And at the end of the day, this is like a BYOD device. So it's not part of the corporate domain. And they're going to come over here and they're going to open up their little web browser. They're going to say, hey, I want to, I want to talk to something. And maybe that something is salesforce.com. So I'll come over here, highlight what we got going on, little salesforce.com. Cloud SFDC, baby. And essentially what this looks like, you're just coming in right over here. And when you arrive, you have to do what? You have to authenticate. And you're not technically authenticating against Salesforce.com. Uh, you're going against like your IDP, right? So you can have uh, a variety of all things that are out there. I'm going to kind of highlight this. Maybe have Okta. Maybe some intra ID. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we kind of work with all of them as well. And so now this user is going to come over here. And they're going to ask to authenticate. And then based upon the credentials that have been put over there, it's going to respond back and say, hey, you know what? That username and password, it's good to go. Let them authenticate. And so now Salesforce.com is going to respond back over here and that page for sales up, uh, salesforce.com will be loaded. Now, this is great until it's not because this user can interact with the application and from a data residency standpoint, they can do whatever they want with it, right? That's kind of a terrible idea because you know that you're allowed to have your data live here, but you don't want it on grandma's PC. So it's risky and it's not really that great of an idea. So we'll just call this like the, the before. So the question begs, like, how do you secure this without like throwing an agent on someone's device? So we'll divide and conquer. This is the before. So the exact same scenario, we're going to highlight a little bit different. So we got BYOD again. We have a user coming through. They're going to be happy. They're going to open up their browser. They are going to be going out. Yet again to salesforce.com, I have no idea, Office 365, whatever SaaS-based application you want to think about. They're going to ask for that page. So it's going to come over here. And just like this previous flow, this application needs to authenticate. So it's going to come over here and to authenticate. Now, this is where we get tricky or a little slick. So I'm introducing the concept of an identity proxy, but I'm also introducing isolation proxy here as well because I don't want to break collaboration. So what we're going to do is actually have this user authenticate against the Zero Trust Exchange by Zscatter. So that auth reply comes through. Now, before you freak out and think, I don't want to have to manage identity in multiple places, it's okay, baby birds. I'm going to feed you. I'm just going to federate. I'm a proxy, an identity proxy. So you're still going to have like that same two-way trust. So maybe you have Okta again, uh, Entra ID. And there's just that two-way SSO, right? I'm going to take that SAML assertion and validate it and get a response. And let's again, let's say that it was good. But in this scenario, I'm detecting that the user is not coming from a location or device that's part that is not part of your company. So again, I'm just going to highlight this. This is an identity proxy, and I could straight up just block the user and tell them, "Hey, you can't log in from there, even though you have valid credentials." But again, that breaks collaboration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to respond with a isolation proxy. I'm going to take that user. Now they're still going to be able to get to Salesforce.com. Right, got the little cloud right here. 
all that good stuff. But I'm going to wrap it in Zscaler browser isolation. So the ability to copy and paste, upload and download will be restricted. So we're going to come over here and it's called the, the, the old 302, right? Isolation proxy. So think of remote browser isolation, cloud browser isolation. I'm going to respond back. And then that user's browser, the page is again, it's going to be loaded. So come over here. But again, I want to introduce security. So I'm taking that page and I'm wrapping it in the browser isolation. So their ability to copy, paste, upload, and download will be completely restricted. And what's neat about this is it doesn't break collaboration. This user can work from grandma's computer, but you'll have peace of mind knowing that your data still is here, right? It's not on some third party device. Now, again, sometimes people are like, hey, what, how are you going to stop me from taking a picture with my cell phone, right? But what I can do is I can watermark. So I can take that file and by using watermarking technology, I can blaster their identity all over it. So they might look at that and start to think twice. Like, do I really want to take a picture of this and then share it with somebody else when it has my identity? Probably not. So the before, the risk there is kind of simple. You have third-party devices that can come in here as long as they have identity. And if they do that, Lord knows where your data is at. It's risky. The after, you're going to ensure from a data residency, it stays where it needs to be at. It's going to help reduce that risk. And by enabling this collaboration, your users are happier. And with that said, that's my time. Hopefully you got something out of this. Please reach out to your local team if you'd like to explore this in a little bit further detail. And with that said, that's my time.